After failing three state inspections, the Jack Harwell Detention Center is now under the control of McLennan County. Officials gathered at the jail early this morning to celebrate this transition of power. The detention center's previous owner or operator, I should say, LaSalle Corrections, chose not to renew their management contract after three state inspections gave the facility a failing grade. And that's why McClendon County Sheriff Parnell McNamara decided to hire more than 100 new jailers and put Major Ricky Armstrong in charge of the detention center's day-to-day -day operations. The main thing we want to accomplish is to make sure this facility is run properly and efficiently and uh, in the proper way uh, for the safety of our citizens, our police officers, and uh, the inmates as well. Receiving his new badge early this morning, Major Armstrong says he has a lot planned for the facility moving forward. Well, at the end of LaSalle's management contract at the jail, that's reason to rejoice, according to the Waco Immigrants Alliance. They've been battling for a year to rid McLennan County of that private prison company. The Waco Immigrants Alliance connected 25 News with the woman whose story from her time spent behind bars there started the movement to end LaSalle's watch over McLennan County inmates. Jack Harwell Center was, uh, was pitiful. It was not what a uh, regular jail should be. There, there, there was a lack of needs of everything. The Waco Immigrants Alliance explains that it was Estella's story of mistreatment that got them involved. Join us back here at 6 o'clock for more from behind the walls at the Jack Harwell Detention Center.